I'm Paul Major. And I'm Diana Pierce. Coming up tonight on News 11, the bomb squad rushes to a St. Paul McDonald's where a dangerous explosive is found. The SWAT team arrests an alleged drug ring in St. Paul tonight on cocaine charges. Motorists get the go-ahead tonight to step on the gas as the speed limit will go up. And how fast does the governor's limousine travel in the Twin Cities? A radar gun tells the story. News 11 is next. Don't miss the Memorial Day sale at Mills Fleet Farm. Come in now for Fleet Farm's hot buys on lots of sizzling summer specials. Give a protective coating against rust with Rust-Oleum spray paint. A 12-ounce can is only $2.49. How about having a new set of Duralon all-season radios installed? Computer tread design, now with a new 50,000-mile tread wear warranty. White walls on sale starting at $29.95. And these comfortable mainstream men's leather boots are just $21.95 a pair. So be sure to march into summer. With a parade of savings. Now during the Memorial Day sale at Mills Fleet Farm. Introducing the great taste of new Diet Mountain Dew. It's the delicious country cool taste of Mountain Dew with 100% Nutrisweet. The Mazda Minneapolis 500, it's here. Let's hear what everyone's saying about this incredible event. We've been looking at the Mazda trucks, some of the other trucks, and uh, I think the prices today seem to be about five or $600 less. Unbelievable. Oh, excellent selection. All different cars, colors. Very convenient. Instead of having to go back to a dealership or going to a bank, somewhere else, you can do everything right here. The Mazda Minneapolis 500. There's still time for you to win. Now, the Twin Cities' fastest growing television news. News 11. With Paul Majors, Diana Pierce, Tom Weither on sports, and meteorologist Paul Douglas. Good evening. Tapping tonight's News 11, a dangerous pipe bomb is found in an Eastside McDonald's, and St. Paul authorities rushed to the scene. Police say the bomb isn't the first found in recent days, and Mary Stuckey has a story from the newsroom. Mary? The bomb was found in a toilet at the McDonald's restaurant on 94 and White Bear Avenue around 6 o'clock tonight. The McDonald's was evacuated and the bomb squad entered the building. They managed to defuse the bomb inside and then placed it in a trailer and hauled it off. Police checked for more bombs but found none. Meanwhile, McDonald's employees watched, waited, and talked about what happened. And then I reached down in there, pulled it out just a little bit up under the rim, you know, on the toilet. I looked at it and I said, it's a bomb. It's, we just got out of there. We ran. But this long, it had two caps at the end and it, had, and it had a little, like a transistor or something in the middle of it. And it had four wires, which were taped at the ends. So, I don't know. I guess they said that <laughs> if it, any kind of radio wave could set it off. Police say a juvenile was arrested yesterday with a pipe bomb in his possession. This was also on St. Paul's east side. Right now, police say the two bombs may just be a coincidence, or there may be a connection. The investigation continues. Paul, Diana. Well, Mary, are police thinking that the same juvenile placed both bombs? Well, Paul, they really don't know. They say the juvenile had um, several other juveniles involved with him in making the bombs, but right now nothing's definite and they're still investigating. All right, Mary. Thank you very much. Well, tonight, St. Paul police say they've made a major drug bust, seizing a substantial amount of cocaine, cash, and property believed to be stolen. Seven people were arrested, as News 11's John Stone tells us in an exclusive report. We can bring him inside. St. Paul police raided this home at 922 Laurel Avenue tonight as its SWAT team patrolled outside. Inside, they recovered a quarter pound of cocaine worth up to $10,000 on the street. They also found $18,000 in cash, weapons, and stolen property. Police arrested one woman and six men who were inside the home. They say they'll be charged with possession of cocaine. We can take around the other side. It's not going to fit. St. Paul police say it was a significant drug bust. Neighbors say it's a relief as they've noticed suspicious activity in the home. 
John Stone, News 11. The suspects remain in custody tonight and court appearances are pending. For the second day in a row, Lois Jurgen's oldest adopted son took the stand in her murder trial and he told the court he was certain she caused the death of Dennis Jurgen's 22 years ago. Today, Lois Jurgen's faced her oldest son in court and Robert Jurgen's told the court he was angry at his parents for refusing to tell him what happened to Dennis after his death was ruled a homicide. The defense attorney pointed out that Robert told him he had a good relationship with his mother, but he had told the police earlier he didn't like her. Judge David Marsden has yet to rule whether testimony will be permitted from other people adopted by the Jurgens as children. Testimony continues tomorrow. Minneapolis police tonight are investigating the 20th murder in the city so far this year. 20-year-old Edward Whitcock was found shot to death early this morning at a home on 24th Avenue South. Authorities found a box of shotgun shells in a car and took a suspect into custody. Because the number of murders this year is skyrocketing, the police chief had to pull 10 detectives off the serial murders. Guardian Angels and other civilian patrols in the Phillips neighborhood are still looking for the so-called serial killer. But Guardian Angel Joe Big Bear, who was stabbed while on patrol last week, is discouraged. We'll continue, you know, as the same rigorous effort that we've been doing. So, um, well, it is a little discouraging to say the least. Um, we're going to continue our efforts the way we've been doing. The Guardian Angels and the AIM Patrol say they understand why police had to cut back to solve other murders. The Ryden family of North Minneapolis finally heard from their son today, who survived the blast aboard the Navy ship USS Stark. The parents of the Navy man have been monitoring news reports and finally got a phone call from Christopher early today. Oh, we love you so much. I love you too. Sorry if it made you worry at all. The Rydens had waited nearly two days to find out their son survived the attack of the USS Stark. And in the wake of the Stark attack, the president says tonight he has no intention of abandoning shipping lanes in the Persian Gulf. Today, naval investigators were aboard the Stark assessing its damage. Officials in Bahrain say the investigation into the Iraqi attack of the ship is well underway. Meantime, two of the sailors badly burned in the attack are in an army hospital tonight in San Antonio, Texas. Twenty others who were injured are in West German hospitals. Those burned will have to spend as much as two months in the hospital. And the bodies of those who didn't survive the attack are still being identified tonight. A memorial service will be held tomorrow in Florida, and the president will attend. The governor made a dramatic announcement today which will change the speed limit to 65 miles per hour next month. The new speed limit will apply to rural stretches of interstate, including Interstate 94 between the Twin Cities and North Dakota, Interstate 35, and Interstate 90 through much of southern Minnesota. About 700 miles of freeway will get the new speed limit June 19th. Truckers who make a living on the open road are applauding the new speed limit tonight. The faster limit will earn truckers more money and save them a lot of time. Drive 65, you're adding 100 more miles to that in 10 hours. State troopers say they will ticket motorists going 70 or faster and say the new speed limit could lead to more highway deaths and more gas consumption. Governor Perpich's limousine appeared to be disobeying the new speed limit even before he approved it late today. News 11's Dennis Stoffer reports on how fast the governor's driver was going. As Governor Perpich's Lincoln headed down the highway after he spoke at the university today, we pulled in behind, armed with a radar gun, just to find out what the okay, governor really okay, thinks the speed the limit ought to be. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Within minutes, we found his chauffeur whisking him along at more than 60 miles per hour in the 55 zone, and then he got even faster. We followed the governor's limousine from the university to St. Paul on I-94 and repeatedly found him going more than 70 miles an hour. At one point, the radar gun read 76 miles per hour, 21 miles per hour over the legal limit. When we confronted the governor later, he pleaded ignorance. We have your limo going about 76 miles an hour on I-94. I'm not aware of it. I'm reading in the back seat. The governor's staff later explained that the driver thought he was moving with traffic, but was in a hurry to get to the governor's next appointment and doesn't know just how fast he was going. They regret the incident. Dennis Stauffer, News 11, St. Paul. Governor Perpich originally said he'd wait for Wisconsin's decision on the 65 mile an hour speed limit before making his decision. Motorists in the Badger State expected a decision on the faster limit today, but lawmakers tabled the bill until next week. Those in favor of the higher speed limit say the state would earn more fuel tax money from more gas consumption. 
Still ahead tonight on News 11, a Colorado beer maker tells how he funded the Contras. Also tonight, cashing in on AIDS in funeral homes in an outrageous ripoff. An annual and noisy event brings boats of all sizes to New York Harbor. And the importance of being earnest made hundreds of people see devil tonight. News 11 will be right back. America, you look like you need a holiday, a fair income holiday. In the land of wonder, the land down under. Now there's a few things I've got to warn you about. Firstly, you're going to get wet. Because the place is surrounded by water. Oh, and you're going to have to learn to say good day. Of course, every day's a good day in Australia. Good day, Paul. Good day, love. Of course, you'll have to get used to some of the local customs, like getting a suntan in the restaurant, playing football without a helmet, and calling everyone mate. Thanks, mate. She's right, mate. Apart from that, no worries. You'll have the time of your life in Australia. Of course, we talk the same language. Although you lot do have a funny accent. Oh, before you rush out to book your Aussie holiday, call this toll-free number for your free Aussie holiday book. Come on. Come and say good day. I'll slip an extra shrimp on the barbie for you. Come and say good day. You know what you'd like to find. Continental, may I help you? I already checked in, Mr. Walsh. Know it should be. Continental Airlines offers superb international service to Australia with more flights down under than any other U.S. airline. Fly out and back to Sydney or Melbourne for 1096, just 548 each way. is back. Up to $1,200 cash back, depending on the Pontiac you buy or lease. At your greater metropolitan Pontiac dealer. Pontiac alert. $1,000 cash back on any Firebird. $800 cash back on any Bonneville or Pontiac 6000. $500 cash back on any Grand Am, Sunbird or Fiero. Pontiac alert. Or buy with special GMAC financing as low as 3.9%. You must act by May 31st. So be on the alert. See your greater metropolitan Pontiac dealers today. Investigators in the Iran-Contra affair found out wealthy Americans handed over thousands, even millions of dollars to the Contras. In hearings today, several wealthy people said they were told Oliver North and William Casey were the men to see about donating to the Contras. And one donor was told Ronald Reagan would personally thank him if he donated $300,000. The owner of Coors Brewery said he donated $65,000. A nationwide crackdown on illegal steroids, and that story tops datelines tonight. In San Diego, 34 people were indicted today, including the strength coach for the University of Miami football team. The suspects were charged with smuggling and distributing steroids from Tijuana into the United States. Steroids are used by bodybuilders to increase the bulk of muscles. In outer space, Soviet cosmonauts took these pictures of a cargo spaceship docking onto a space station run by the Soviets. The cargo ship brought fuel for the station's propulsion system, as well as food, water, and mail. And in New York, Maritime Day was celebrated in the harbor as vessels of all sizes blew their horns in a colorful display. The celebration is an annual event commemorating the first transatlantic voyage by a steamboat. That's kind of fun to see, mm -hmm. that. Fun to be there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, a long weekend is headed our way. It's a big weekend, and I'll tell you what, meteorologists of all ages, sizes, shapes, and dispositions uh, usually begin to tremble and twitch. Anytime there's a holiday. That's weekend. right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, God forbid if you're wrong on a weekend, God have mercy on your soul if you're wrong on a holiday weekend. People never forget, so we're going to see if we can get this right. We want to first show you what's been happening over the past couple of hours here. Let's check trivia and show you what you can expect if you're going to be heading out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think Saturday probably the best day to plan your picnic, the best day to plan your sunburn. There will be some sun, winds out of the northeast at 7 to 14, wave heights under a foot. It will be dry across most of the state, maybe a shower in the northern part of the state. Sunday and Monday, we're a little more pessimistic. More clouds, winds out of the south to southwest, 10 to 20. A few showers and thunder showers around. Not an all-day washout Sunday and Monday, but there will be some showers. High 65 to 73, lows in the low to mid 50s. And here are some selected city temperatures in the cities. By Sunday, highs up around 68, lows of 53. Duluth on the cool spot, 
56 for a high with a wind off the lake, a low of about 42 degrees. It is going to be a cool weekend, no doubt about that. Let's check Doppler and give you some good news. The threat of severe weather is over. It's pretty dry out there right now. Just a few showers up around old Little Falls, up towards Staples. You may bump into a spritz or a sprinkle later on this evening, but nothing more. That's it. All the wild thunder bumpers are now rumbling across eastern Wisconsin, and we are forecasting a slow drying out process over the next 24 hours. Earlier today in the backyard, there was indeed some sunshine out there, enough for 78 degrees, a low of 50, a tenth of an inch of rain since midnight. In the backyard now, cloudy skies, 50 degrees, a southwest wind at 16 miles an hour, the dew point 46, the humidity 36, and the barometer 29.89, and it's on the rise. Okay, let's check loop 11. This is the satellite sequence since breakfast time, and you can see, now watch what happened late this afternoon and this evening. Very moist air near the surface, strong winds aloft, huge thunderstorms erupted just to the east of 11 country. Golf ball size hail west of Milwaukee with winds up to 60 miles an hour. We're in these low clouds now. It's called backlash on the backside of the storm. And as we check the big map, you can see exactly what's happening. Cold air draining southward out of Canada. I mean, this is a chilly air mass. I wouldn't even be shocked to see a few flakes of wet snow in extreme northern Minnesota tonight. I, I can't believe I'm saying it either. Here are the big thunderstorms. These are just light showers and sprinkles, nothing significant. 36 now up in Thief River Falls. The hot spot, 76 at Madison and 76 in Milwaukee. Still some thunder and lightning in the air. The map tomorrow, leftover clouds, only upper 50s. It's going to feel like fall. The forecast coming up next. Cherokee Power Equipment's huge volume saves you money. Your choice of over 20 different snapper mowers featuring snapper's exclusive pack and sack. Garbage bag your grass while you cut. Empties easily, saving you time and money. Add to this Cherokee Power Equipment's 3060 90-day no-interest financing, plus Cherokee's quality service department, and you can see why Cherokee is the only place to buy your snapper more. Most importantly, Cherokee's huge volume saves you money. Cherokee Power Equipment, 63rd and Boone Avenue North in Brooklyn Park. Big Wheel Rossi is having an anniversary sale, and everyone's stocking up on the huge selection of parts including Valvoline All Climate 10W30 or 10W40 motor oil, on sale from 49 cents per quart after rebate. Also during Big Wheels anniversary sale, Sylvania Halogen Headlights start at $4.99 after rebate. Sir, could you afford the prices at the competitor store? I could get the money, but it would be wrong. So far in the incredible prize catalog sweepstakes, we've already given away a beautiful Mazda RX-7 and thousands of dollars worth of shopping sprees and other prizes. And right now, here's your chance to win. Tonight we're playing for the car line, and here's the number, 267-176-672. That number again, 267-176-672. If you have that number, you've got 20 minutes to call the phone number listed in your catalog, and you're a winner. And for more chances to win, listen to us tomorrow morning at 710 on WLOL. It only happens once a year. Coon Rapids Chrysler Plymouth Indy 500 Street Party Sale. We barricaded our driveways to make room for an overflow shipment of new cars. Sundances from $129 a month. Voyagers from only $10,400 with front-wheel drive. Deluxe interior, even AM FM stereo. Now that's value. We even have 10 special edition Indy 500 LeBaron Coupes. But hurry, this sale absolutely ends 6 p.m. Monday night. Only at Coon Rapids Chrysler Plymouth. It's brisk in the backyard tonight. You'll need a, a pretty good jacket for worker school tomorrow morning. The forecast for tonight, just a few wind-driven sprinkles and spritzes, nothing more. What is that, an egret? It's a beautiful bird. A low tonight, 44 to 49. Tomorrow, variable cloudiness. It may try to brighten up late in the day. A chance of a sprinkle, nothing more, 55 to 60 with a noticeable north wind. Tomorrow night, low 40s, and then Saturday, the sunniest day in sight, 65. It tries to warm up Sunday and Monday, but as that warm front comes in, I think there will be more clouds and a few widely scattered showers both days. That's our first guesstimate, not the gospel at this point. Tune in tomorrow as we try to fine-tune that weekend forecast, Paul and I. All righty. Thank you very much. See you later. 60 years ago today, Charles Lindbergh made aviation history. The Minnesota native arrived in Paris, finishing his famous solo flight from New York in 1927. Today, dignitaries at the state capitol, including astronaut George Pinky Nelson, were on hand as a bust of Lucky Lindy was unveiled. Tonight on We the People, the story of a landowner who was one of the founding fathers of the Constitution. John Bachman has this report from Hoboken, New Jersey.
Hoboken, New Jersey, city on the Hudson, just across from Manhattan. In the early 1800s, a Colonel John Stevens bought this whole area for $90,000. Then he divided the land into lots and auctioned them off. About 15 years earlier, the Colonel's father, the Honorable John Stevens, presided over the New Jersey ratifying convention for the U.S. Constitution. And these are the rules from that convention. The Colonel himself had urged support for the Constitution. He wrote a pamphlet under the pseudonym of a Jersey farmer calling for ratification of the document. One intriguing argument found in a letter from Colonel John to his father, Honorable John, that enacting the Constitution would produce an immediate increase in property values of 50%. The colonel was quite an inventor and entrepreneur. This boat he built, the Juliana, was used for the first regular steam ferry service in the world. And in 1824, at the age of 75, he conducted the first successful run of a locomotive that he'd built. He ran it on a circular track on his estate in Hoboken. Today, the Stevens Institute of Technology is a vibrant institution in Hoboken. It was founded by Colonel Stevens' son, Edwin. The Stevens family, proof that our colonial leaders were inventive and industrious. For We the People in Hoboken, New Jersey, I'm John Bachman. Still ahead tonight, the radio station with a zoo of a morning duo. We'll be right back. Two things we all love are chocolate cake with only 50 calories, a kid who says thank you before you say, what do you say? And a quality item that you not only love, but is on sale, like a Honda. Some things you love are unattainable. Tom Selleck comes to mind. And with Honda, love is often meant delivery taking longer than your last pregnancy. But not now. They're here and on sale, too, during the Memorial Day sale at your Twin Cities Honda dealers now. This Memorial Day, you have two choices. You could take a trip where you'll find heavy traffic, screaming kids, crowded lakes, painful sunburn, pouring rain, biting insects, and very small fish. Or you can stay home and shop Best Buy's Memorial Day sale, where you'll find stereos, TVs, appliances, and cameras, and save a lot of money. A simple choice, all that fun, or Best Buy's Memorial Day sale, which is in store for you this weekend. Hardy's introduces Garden Fresh Salads. We call them that because our lettuce comes from fresh lettuce. Our cabbage, from fresh cabbage. And our carrots from, wouldn't you know it, fresh carrots. Unlike some other places where everything comes fresh. Off a truck. Hardy's new garden, seafood, and chef salads. Proving once again that at Hardy's, we're out to win you over. The sensible choice of Minneapolis is Cadillac. I really love the Cadillac DeVille. Today's DeVille has new contemporary styling, combining luxury and roominess with modern day technology. I enjoy the new Cadillac. I like the front wheel drive and I enjoy the, uh, the comfort of the seat. After one drive, you'll see why it's the number one selling luxury car in America. Discover the sensible side. See your Twin Cities Cadillac dealer today. The people who turned out tonight for the movie preview of Ernest Goes to Camp were treated to a rather strange sight. About 150 of those moviegoers wore Ernest masks to mark the opening of the movie. We even found News Loves Barry Zavan hiding behind one of the masks, and he says he'll review the movie this Sunday. Tonight on the radio, a zany combination on the FM dial. Buck and O'Connor are firmly entrenched as the morning duo at KDWB, and Melissa Young takes us to their studios for a look at the morning zoo. It's fun to watch the crazy antics of the animals in the zoo. And in many ways, the morning zoo on KDWB is no different. In this case, the zaniness is courtesy Buck and O'Connor. Together, they create their own zoo-like atmosphere. Hey, there, there's another Stuckies. We better stop and get some Come on, Buck, really? Don't be sad. After eight Those years together, really this sad. dizzying duo has become like salt and pepper, Abbott and Costello. We're like uh, brothers, first cousins. Let's just say that... Uh, Husband-wife team. His sidewalk doesn't reach the road. <laughs> <laughs> Buck and O'Connor have helped keep KDWB strong contenders in the radio ratings race. It is 8 o'clock at 101 KDWB, Minneapolis, St. Paul. It should be nice this weekend, but today a little rain right now, 59 at KDWB. Baby, take me 
At 101.5 FM, this morning zoo is just the right crazy combination for its listeners. Melissa Young, News 11, on the radio at KDWB. Coming up in sports, Game 2 of the Eastern Conference NBA Finals. And the final game in Cleveland between the Twins and the Indians. Tom Ryder will show us how Burt Blylevin got blasted when we come right back. More examples of 31st anniversary celebration prices at Towsley Ford. Special purchase F-150s. Not a wimpy small truck, but a full-size pickup with heavy-duty payload, EFI engine power, steering power brakes, extra fuel tank, sport wheel cover, sliding rear window, $79.95. Save over $3,000. Lease for $159 a month. Sport tempos with air, heavy-duty battery, power steering, tinted glass, $79.95. Save over $2,500. Lease for $159 a month. It's worth the trip to Towsley Ford White Bear Lake. You never forget your first girl until something better comes along. Heileman Special Export. All right, okay. So you stroll into your favorite burger place and you say, Oh, uh, hey, Biff, what's new? And Biff says, Uh, the usual. Go for it. <laughs> well, wait. This is something you will never hear at Arby's. You don't get the usual at Arby's. Like Arby's new corned beef and Swiss with delicious, lean, deli-styled corned beef and melted Swiss. Or Arby's corned beef Reuben. Great stuff. You want new and different? Next time, you and Biff cruise on down to Arby's for corned beef and taste the Arby's difference. Every time you charge your gasoline at Phillips 66, you pay the same low price as cash. Phillips 66, cash or credit, same low price. If you're having a picnic, remember... You'll save on anything anyone could ask for. <laughs> during Super Values Picnic Basket Week. During Picnic Week, banquet fried chicken, regular or hot and spicy, $2.39. And assorted banquet frozen dinners, only 87 cents. Or all fine Coke products and regular diet or caffeine free, $2.89 a 12 pack. If you're hungry for a picnic, hurry to Super Values Picnic Basket Week. <laughs> Tonight's an important night for the International Diabetes Center. The world-famous Center for Diabetes Treatment and Research hosted a benefit concert tonight in St. Louis Park. News 11's Jeff Passolt hosted the event, which included several performances. Tom Ryder's here now with sports. The uh, twins are finally getting out of Cleveland. A good night to leave. I don't know. Actually, it's a good night. To, I guess any night's a good night to leave there. <laughs> hey, Jeff, you look pretty good in that well, tuxedo. you lived there, so no, let's no, just it's, point out to people that... I did live there mm -hmm. in the area and the people. It's wonderful. Sure. <laughs> Downtown, pushing well, the like. This is, called, this is called backpedaling. Uh -oh. <laughs> I get into this mess. The Cleveland yeah. Indians, well, their baseball team certainly saved face for that town tonight as they took their turn knocking the ball out of the park against the Twins. Five home runs to be exact. Three by Corey Snyder to send the Twins packing from Cleveland Stadium. As we uh, take a look at some highlights uh, right now, there's the final score, 6-3. to three. Indians led 2 to nothing. fourth inning. Corey Snyder, what a night he had. As I said, three home runs. His second right there off by Burt Blyle who just simply, he just had a rough night and home runs continue to plague him. Twins trail 5-2 to in the 8th when Gene Larkin, now there's a bright spot. The youngster just brought up from Portland had a couple of base hits tonight. Impressive debut as a big leaguer. Remember that name, Gene Larkin. He looked good in spring training. Snyder hit his third home run of the night in the ninth off Mark Portugal. This one to the upper deck and left. And believe me, that is a long way. Three home runs, four against the Twins in the series. Final 6-3 Cleveland. Let's go to the scoreboard now. Philadelphia over the Dodgers. Mickey Hatcher, a home run for the Dodgers. The Cubs over Cincinnati. The Cardinals continue to be hot. They beat Atlanta and they College Baseball Division III playoffs. Augsburg has been eliminated by William Penn. Division I in Atlanta, Dartmouth over Big Ten champion Michigan. Twin Cities player Mark Mitchell had a couple of hits in that game for Dartmouth. Twin City Suburban Championship, Hastings won that over Moundsview. And the Twin Cities Championship, Hill Murray over Washburn. In that game, watch this now. The Pioneer scored three times in the first inning. Here, George Bear, what a great day for him, an RBI single, but he was just kind of warming up there, actually. He will step up to the plate a little bit later in the ball game. Now watch this. This is a high school kid at the Metrodome. Goodbye, 380 feet into the left field seats. Hill Murray wins it 10 to 3. In the NBA tonight, game two of the Eastern Final, the Boston Celtics at the Garden win again over Detroit. They lead that series two games to none. There is the final score, 110 to 101. Highlights now. Watch this shot by Isaiah Thomas of Detroit. You have to see it to believe it. He will literally pivot his way between two men, look at that, and then shovel it up and in. He had 36 points, not enough. Larry Bird led the Celtics with 31 points, two right there. Boston wins 110-101, game three in Detroit, and that will be on Saturday. 
And I, it's, we're heading for a showdown between the Lakers and the Celtics, and it, it's going to be great. All right. Thanks, Tommy. Coming up next, an outrage for relatives of AIDS victims. Funeral homes are charging sky-high rates for AIDS victims. We'll find out why next on The Extra. Announcing three reasons to see your Ford dealer now. Reason one, money. Now save up to $2,397 on full-sized Ford pickups. Reason two, money. Now save over $1,800 on Rangers. Over $1,500 on Temples with a special value option package. Reason three, money. Now save up to $1,400 on Ford Crown Victoria wagons. So hurry to your Northland Ford dealer. The reasons are obvious. Money, money, money. Presenting Sheer Madness, Highlands Midnight Madness Sale. Friday only till midnight, every Highland store will go raving mad with shocking reductions on many items. Like this 13-inch color TV with automatic color control for just $126. Highlands Midnight Madness Sale. Get there by midnight before the curtain falls. Now this was gardening in the good old days. But today, Kmart brings you a better way with everything from power mowers to petunias. This week, save on a variety of popular blooming plants. Choose from impatience, pansies, petunias, marigolds, and more. Just $6.88 per flat. For my money, you can't beat the prices at Kmart, and they sure make gardening a whole lot easier. Come to the Lawn and Garden Center at Kmart, America's favorite store. April 1987, your better Buick dealers were the number one Buick group in America. May 1987, they're out to be number one all over again with the best selection ever, plus better prices, better trade-in allowances, and better service. Right now, they're dealing like never before on every new Buick in stock with prices starting as low as $85.22. April was big, and May will be even bigger because the deals will never be better. See your number one better Buick dealers and get on target today. All this week, investigative reporter Steve Wilson has been looking at ways the AIDS crisis has led to consumer ripoffs. And some of those ripoffs are happening at funeral homes as AIDS victims are being laid to rest. Steve joins us now for a sad and final chapter of his special series. Steve? Paul, Diana, we're wrapping up our series tonight. We called it Cashing In on AIDS, and you're about to see why some mortuaries feel justified in charging higher fees for AIDS victims. Nobody knows exactly how many people have died of AIDS, but in San Francisco, where the staggering numbers continue to grow, the cases are more than statistics to Tom Simpson. He is a funeral director and, and gay himself. Uh, my lover has had six friends die within the last year. I've had four friends die, and a, uh, an Episcopal priest friend of mine just recently diagnosed. One of the victims was this woman's cousin. She called Simpson about embalming the body and shipping it to Tennessee for a funeral. But the funeral home there contacted another San Francisco mortuary, which did the work and tacked on a $300 surcharge because the man died of AIDS. We, you know, try to be, have our costs met too. And that, that, costs that are really not. more than meets your cost, doesn't it? Not really, when you consider the chances and the risks that everyone is taking. The local mortuary supply company charges uh, $15.45 for this. Basically, you get a mask for the face. Uh, AIDS is not an airborne disease. The, the, the virus is not going to pull vault up from the body into your nose. Uh, I personally don't think that that's necessary, but it comes with that. It comes with a, a couple of booties for your shoes, uh, all of this which is disposable. Uh, it comes with a hat to cover your hair, and it basically comes with a, a paper uh, jumpsuit. Does fifteen dollars sound about uh, no, I right don't for think the so. equipment? No, I think it's more than that. The equipment yeah. pouch that we've seen from the local funeral supply house is, is fifteen dollars. That's why I ask. I, it may be. I don't know. Now, it's happening not just in San Francisco. Some funeral homes have quietly begun adding $100, $200, $300 or more to the bills of their AIDS clients. And others don't like to have anything to do with funerals for AIDS victims at any price. Here in the Twin Cities, the O.E. Larson Osborne Funeral Home accepts AIDS cases. And even though the experts say handling AIDS deaths poses no greater risk than other blood transferable diseases, Take owner Lawrence Osborne tacks on an extra charge of at least $100. We charge more for doing an AIDS case because some people don't want to do them and we've never refused anyone. We take care of them. So uh, this is just 
the way we operate here. We don't want to take any chances. And if they touch the remains and then touch the steering wheel in the car, that type of thing, we want to be sure that everything is safe for anyone. You know, that, that tells me that they're way out in left field and that their fear of catching something uh, again, it's just gone. It's gone to their pocketbook, and it's like their pocketbook. The higher they tr uh, put the price, the safer they are. I'm not saying that you should throw caution to the wind. In, in fact, I'm saying the opposite. I say, uh, I say on every case that you should be careful. But the thing that I specifically resent is saying that you have to take more precautions for AIDS than you do for any of the other deadly uh, blood contact contagious diseases. I'm not trying to give you a hard time here, but what you're saying is your cost is not really $300. It's something less it than It is that. less, yeah. So you're making a profit off of dealing with patients who have special needs. We are a funeral home that is in business to stay in business. It's only a matter of, of when it's going to affect people in the funeral home. That someone that they know, their family member, will have AIDS. Um, and then it'll come home. And then their pocketbook, no amount that they put on it, uh, will bring that person back to them. Well, as you know, there's uh, still no cure for AIDS, and while the research goes on, it's clear tonight that while AIDS means death for some, it's beginning to mean dollars for others. Any legislation anywhere in any state in the country that they're, you're aware of? They're this? beginning to look around at that, but it's in the very early stages, and uh, this is the very kind of thing that's going to lead to that, and I bet you we'll see that within the next few months. Mm -hmm. All right, Steve, thank you. Let's get a weather update. Okay. During the day tomorrow, we're talking about mostly cloudy skies, a cold wind out of the north, a high temperature only in the upper 50s. Paul, Di? That's it. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Good night. thing that ever happened to the Beverly Hills Police Force is back. Hey! You got the money or not? You want to do business or what? I ain't doing nothing in front of this dude because this dude is a cop. I know when I can smell a pig inside the room. I used to be a Muslim man, and I know that's Paul over here. And that's, yes, Paul. It's definitely Paul. Kill him, burn him, blow him away. Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 2. The heat's <laughs> back on. Rated R. Now showing at theaters everywhere. Your deck gets stomped. Spiked. Scraped. And scratched. But against the ravages of man and nature, there is new hope. Introducing Olympic Deck Stain with our exclusive.